So moving on to our next story, we are talking about the PlayStation 5 and what the PlayStation 5 might bring. So apparently there was a patent that recently hit. This is uh, on the Japanese side of things. So we do have to acknowledge that this is being translated from Japanese. So there could be a few issues here and there. However, according to a post from Japanese blog, uh, Hokanko Alt, and this was translated uh, from Reddit via Reset Era, the PS4 architect Mark Mark Cerny is the author of the patent, and it is a quote-unquote a system to be applied in a future machine, PS5, and that allows the CPU of the new console to be able to interpret interpret the central unit of the previous machine. So what does that even mean, right? That means that it could potentially be um, it could potentially be backwards compatible with the PS1, 2, 3, and 4. Or what it could mean is it potentially could be their way of just uh, maybe potentially having another way to access uh, that that um, oh god what was it I don't remember what it's called but it's it's that newer uh, PlayStation service that allows you to play older PlayStation games through streaming it could just be their way of doing that or it could be following suit with the Xbox One with Microsoft where they have ways of playing original Xbox games uh, upscaled a little bit on the xbox one so and i believe 360 games as well not too sure you guys can correct me down below but still i i would say that if i'm able to play ps1 2 3 and 4 games yes it wouldn't be able to be every game that's you know every console there's always some issue with backwards compatibility uh even the ps2 as much as everyone loves the ps2 and buys those over ps1s to play ps1 games still there are some issues with compatibility even with the ps2 and with the ps3 not only with the ps2 obviously of course they removed that in later ps3s but also even with certain ps1 games as well so there's always going to be some issue with compatibility however if I could play most of my backlog of games on a PS5, for me personally, that would immediately be a system seller. In fact, I don't care about VR. I don't care. I would care if it's built into the system. If VR is built into the system the same way that the Xbox One um, had their webcam built in, the, uh, I forgot what it was called, but I did not like that. That's why I don't have an Xbox One. At least I didn't get one originally. Um, so if, if the PS5 does have VR built in, and you have to use VR just to turn the damn thing on, I would be a little bit frustrated with that. Probably wouldn't want to get it for that reason, honestly. But if I could play PS1, 2, 3, and 4 games on a PS5, you can bet your ass that I would be very, very interested in picking one up within the first few years of its life cycle. I mean, if you guys know me, you usually know that uh, the Nintendo Switch that I just got recently I got that. That's like the newest console I've gotten uh, in terms of in in the beginning of something's life cycle for a very very long time. Usually, uh, when I was a kid, of course, game consoles and handhelds and stuff like that were bought for me. And then when I got older, um, it took me a long time to get a PS4. I didn't get one. I think until midway through the life cycle, I believe. Uh, and that, again, that was PS4. PS3 also took me a very long time to get. So when it comes to um, a new console, that's a lot of money to drop. I, we don't know how much a PS5 is going to be yet, but I assume it's not going to be under $500, sadly. So, yeah, there's a lot of money that has to be dropped into a brand new console. So, for me, if if I'd be able to play those those games that I have, you know, my backlog from when I was a kid for, uh, from the PS1 and the PS2, and of course PS3 and 4 games as well, that would be that would be very interesting for me. I would love if that was the case. I'm I'm just a little bit nervous because I think it's just I don't believe. E okay, so either uh, and it's maybe it's a translation or, or it's just the fact that we're so early into you know talking about the specs for the PS5 and things like that that I worry that it might just be about. Um, it might be more so about specific games, again, just like the Xbox One, rather than being able to blanket, just play any game. So it would focus more on Sony's first party titles rather than other titles as well. I should go on though, because the post, there is more to the post. Uh, and so let's read on here. The aim is to make the application design for the previous consoles, uh, parentheses, legacy device, close parentheses, run perfectly on the most powerful hardware and is focused on a 
eliminating the synchronization er errors between the new consoles and the behavior of the previous ones. So the PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and 4, uh, the post reads. For example, if the CPU of the new console is faster than the previous one, data could be overwritten prematurely, even if they were still being used by another component. So again, I uh, should probably take down Soldier Boy's face. That's so funny. Soldier Boy is actually working on the PS5. Um, so yeah, I, I do feel as if that this... I'm not saying that this isn't going to be you know good for us, the consumer, in the long run. However, I'm, I do think that there should be a little bit of healthy skepticism instead of just immediately jumping into saying that every single game is going to be playable on the PS5. I highly doubt it. I would hope that you know that some games that I have would be playable uh, fairly easily. But again, we don't know just yet. I do want to hear what you guys think down below. Uh, do you think that they'll focus on Sony games first? Do you think that Sony games might be you know first uh, first party games would be a bit easier for them to to work out the kinks and be able to play versus other games? And do you think that um, that there might be upgrades of some way, you know, in some way or another? Or do you think it might be like the PS1 Classic and it's just, you know, copy-paste games right there? Who cares? So I want to hear what you guys think down below. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this topic.